Final package arrives, where our long-awaited collaboration with the organization Sea Keepers kicks off. The International Sea Keepers Society supports marine science and conservation through direct involvement with the yachting community. We are very excited to work alongside this organization, helping with the contemporary issue of plastic pollution in our oceans and its impact on marine life. We will be deploying this net off the back of our boat and towing it in order to collect plastic samples. These samples will then be sent to the lab where they will weigh out each plastic fragment and analyse each piece to determine composition. This will help us predict their long-term effects and also help us to pinpoint the major sources of ocean plastic. For more info, click on the link and you will be taken directly to their website. How's that for the thing we found on the ground? We found that in a bin, Incredible. the wheelie. And it's pr been pretty practical, right? There's probably... 20 kilos on here, 15 kilos. And it's going good. No problem. You, ha you did have to take the bog roll in the hand though. <laughs> I did, I did. Oh, that's long walk. Yeah, it was good though. We got a ride in yeah. by our neighbors. So that was good. Provisioning done and packed away, it's finally time for us to leave the marina. So that's it. We're about to leave the marina. Yeah, we're heading out. We got the tricky part of the channel here, which will only have a few inches underneath the keel. So yeah. hopefully we've got the tides right. I've been waiting so long for the storm to arrive. I know that is in you. I know that is in you. Dancing away with the world in your eyes. Hey guys, well we're off again. We are going to Gibraltar. Our next stop is Gibraltar. After being two months in Mar Menor. So we're kind of saying goodbye to Mar Menor today. We're going to go through the bridge again, out into the Mediterranean and straight down to Gibraltar with a few stops in between. We have two new crew on board and we're pretty excited to have them share this journey with. And I think they will be staying all the way to the Caribbean. So they're going to be on the boat for a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. And there might even be more crew coming on board later on. So yeah, so our first stop is about 16 nautical miles away. The bridge doesn't open till 10, but we're going to scoot there as soon as it does. All right. Last preparations done? Just about. Just drop the dingo down. Strap dingo. This is the old dingo. Hey, oldie. It's looking good. This is our what? Fourth time through this bridge. Fourth time. Yeah. Lucky. <laughs> but this is the last time, I promise you. Well, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. But we're off to Gibraltar and then the Canaries. Perfect day for crossing through the bridge today. We couldn't have timed this better. And we're the first ones for the first time ever. We're not late. <laughs> This much hair on board, but here we go. Ready? Man bar number one. That's all right. Getting there. Man bar number two <laughs> is super long, and man bar number three. <laughs> He's so <tired. laughs> Hi. Hi.
Just as we leave, Goni and Guilla's friends come over and give them a proper send off with some champagne. our first overnight spot in the Bay of Atoia. There, we braved the cold waters to get on with some much needed hot What do you think about the bottom of the boat? <laughs> oh my god, it's been in uh, Mar Menor for so long and it is looking awful. So we're going to get under there and scrub the heck out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. It's terrible. The new boys are up uh, scrubbing. You and got your weapon? I got my weapon of choice <laughs> and I'm about to get under there. All right. This is literally the worst I've seen Zephyr's haul before, so yeah, I don't know if that means they're going to need a bottom paint and anti-fouling before we cross, who knows. The next morning, it's time for us to keep moving. So we leave our overnight anchorage and make our way to Malaga. That's what just happened. Well, with the help of the new lads, we uh, put out the whisker pole for the first time ever. And, and I made a right meal of it to start with. And uh, yeah, I think we figured it out. So I don't think we've got quite the perfect conditions for using it, but it seems to be working pretty darn good. We've got like an extra knot, so yeah. Pretty amazed. What do the boys think? My fellow, what do you think? I think it's okay. It's so <laughs> good. I prefer uh, sail with the uh, sails. Uh, only on the engine. Engine is not good. Right? We need sails always. <laughs> hours after and we've just finally gone into bed everyone's exhausted but everyone did really well and we are now in Malaga it is 3 4 o'clock p.m. and we're getting into bed <laughs> all right good night oh, no. <laughs> oh my god no it's so so warm the water is so warm and now we are getting ready as we're going to leave at 2 a.m. tonight and we are going to head directly to Gibraltar. I think it's only about 60 miles um, and we should have the wind with us, behind us. So we should be able to smash our speed a little bit, but we'll see. The boys are outside working hard or hardly working, I don't know. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna hoist the dinghy. Yeah. Um, we're just slowly getting the systems figured out. I just gotta adjust this one a little bit so this metal shackle doesn't rub. Yeah. On the dinghy here. So. All right. Muy bien, clipped in. 
most of the time we needed two people out on the foredeck to hoist up the whisker pole. So me and Gonnie stayed behind to help with lines. On this occasion, I decided to put socks on as it was so cold. The outcome, this. Because it's just too funny, let's watch that one again, this time in slow motion. God. <laughs> Africa! We are almost in Gibraltar. After what a slog actually, all the way from the Peloponnese in Greece, all the way to Gibraltar in, I don't know, the actual sailing is probably only like three weeks. Well guys, we made it to Gibraltar. We are in the waiting dock and James has gone in to have a chat to the marina and give us a spot somewhere and then we'll be heading around the corner there into hopefully our spot and we're pretty hungry so I think we're looking forward to being able to go and grab some food wash the boat give it a bit of a clean and that's about it but yeah we're pretty happy we're on the Spanish side the English side is over that way but uh, we're actually in a Spanish marina at the moment so yeah so that's it and we've got a big blow coming so we're gonna be here for quite a few days until that comes through all right yeah, it's fine yeah. Woo. good job guys we're in our parking spot Gibraltar yeah. Yeah. We did um, 35 miles the first day and then we did 180 the second day so what's that 215 and then we did another <laughs> not signaling for Hamon. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> and then we did another 60 miles per day. So what's up? 275 miles. It's too much for us. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, you guys did great. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 4,000 more to go. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> we are off to get some food because we are starving. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Charlie, the boat's called Charlie. Charlie one, Charlie one. Now, have you got your uh, mask? Yep. Yeah. I do. Me. I've got one. Okay. No. You don't need it. They don't need it. Yeah. Look at the rock. Pretty impressive. Wow. Burger or McDonald's? That's the big question. <laughs> That's the biggest dilemma for us at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. We can't decide. What do we do? Burger or McDonald's? <laughs> McDonald's time. Number 28. Uh, 29. 29. I'm Gonzalo last. Last. Oh my <laughs> God. I'm just organizing the dock lines because we got a lot of wind coming, like 50 knots. So. Woo! Windy. No. Oh my god. So full. Oh my god. <laughs> I told Tony not to do this because Jake hates this, so <laughs> he's doing it.
So while the boys are doing all the other jobs, I'm trying to get the ditch bags sorted. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content, and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.